Hello students, we have an interesting question before us. Uh, the question wants us to find the variance and standard deviation of a group data. So what you are going to do is to move straight uh, into solution. Now for us to actually solve this question, we must understand the formulas for variance and standard deviation. Now check it out. By the right hand corner, you see that variance is summation F into x minus x bar all squared all over summation f and uh, standard deviation sd is actually square root of variance hence sd is going to be square root of summation fx uh, f into x minus x bar all squared all over summation f so let's move quickly to actually solve this question so the first thing we need to get is our class interval okay we've mentioned class interval in previous videos so we have here 21 to 30 31 to 40 41 to 50 51 to 60 then 61 to 70 and 71 to 80 we have our frequency okay frequencies we have two we have 10 uh 12 15 8 and 3 now listen, you if you check from the formula, we have x bar and x bar is mean. Good. So it therefore means that we have to find our mean. And mean is actually summation fx all over summation f. So it therefore means that we need our x, then we need our fx, all right? Like in previous video, I showed you how to get your X. Actually, it's going to be the average of the upper and the lower class interval. So you say 21 plus 30 divided by 2. If you do it here, it's going to be 25.5. Then this is 35.5. This is 45.5. This is 55.5. This is 65.5. This is 75.5. In case you are still wondering, let me explain more. X, to get X in this case now, in the first one is going to be 21 plus 30 all over 2. That is upper uh, and lower class interval divided by 2. And that is how you're going to get 51 over 2, which is 25.5. All right? In case you do not get or you do not follow. So when you multiply F times uh, X, this is what you are going to have. The first one is 51. Then we have 3, 5, 5. We have 5, 4, 6. And we have 8, 3, 2.5. And uh, we have 5, 2, 4. And the last is 2, 2, 6.5. Okay. Now what I did here is actually to uh, multiply frequency and uh, our mid value. So summation here of course is 50 and if you add here you are going to get 2535 right we go straight to find our x bar which is mean which is going to be summation fx all over summation f so we are going to have 2535 over 50 and our answer is 50.7 so we are good to go now since we have that the next thing on our list is for us to find x minus x bar. All right, x bar is frequency. Uh, sorry, x bar is mean, so which is 50.7. So the first one we are going to do is going to be 25.5 minus 50.7. That is what it means. And if you do that, you are going to get minus 25.2. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So take note of it um hmm. so this will be minus 25.2 you move further you have minus 15.2 you have minus 5.2 here you are going to have 4.8 then you have 14.8 and 24.8 okay we're moving um, we're making good progress now if you check in the formula we have x minus x bar squared so we have that column too x minus x bar all squared so it therefore means that we are going to square whatever it is in the column x minus x bar now squaring it here you are going to get 60 
uh -huh. This is two three one point zero four. This is twenty seven point zero four, and uh, this is twenty three point zero four, and um, this is going to be two one nine point zero four. Uh, lastly, we have six one five point zero four. Now you have to be very good with your calculators, okay, for you to be able to pull this uh, off. All right. So the next thing is f into x minus x bar all squared. Meaning everything on the frequency column multiplied by the column x minus x bar all squared. Now doing this, we are going to have 1, 2, 7, 0, 0, 0, The next one is 2, 3, 1, 0, 4, 0. Then followed by uh three two four point four eight and followed by three four five point six zero then we have eight times two hundred and nineteen point zero four uh it will be one seven five two point three two good then the last one which is three times six hundred and fifteen point zero four we are going to have 1845.12. Now, since we have this, the next thing to do is to get the summation of what we actually want. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we need this very important. So you pick your calculators, you work it out. Now, having this, you are going to have 7000. 848 so we are good to go so let's move quickly let's find our variance so the first we have a variance we said is summation f into x minus x bar all squared all over summation f now if you check it this particular column is column for uh, summation f into x minus x bar all squared. All right. And of course, this is summation f. So automatically, it means this is going to be 7, 8, 4, 8, uh, all over 50. All right. And this is what we are going to get. We are going to get... 156.97 so approximately we have 157 very good so we now got in our variance then we move quickly to find our standard deviation sd our standard deviation is actually the square root of um the variance and the variance there is 156.97 you are going to use the raw value don't use the approximated value okay now the square root of that is going to be 12.53 right approximately to one decimal place that will be uh, 12.5 so this is how to find standard deviation uh keep watching and make sure you subscribe thank you so much for being with me